Hello, today I want to show you how to create a user login application with the Entity Framework. Let's start a new project. I will call it User Login App. First, add the references to the Entity Framework. Okay, I accept. And Entity Framework is successfully installed. Now we can start to create our model. Right click on the project, click Add. And new item. I will select ADO.NET Entity Data Model. I will call it User Login Model. I will create the database using an empty model. And I will add a new entity called User. we need the property username and password okay now let us generate the database from the model right click click new connection select your database in my case it's a local instance and select your database. I will call it user login database. Okay. And if you haven't created yet, you could create it now. Okay. The user login database is set. Click next and now the um, SQL statements are created. Click finish. And generate the database by clicking the play button. Once again, select your database. And all comments are successfully completed. Now we can look at the SQL Server Object Explorer. If here's my database and the table, and here it is the user table. And I, I am, and I add a new user called and the password is test okay so save the model and let us begin with a little bit of coding first you need the user to input the username And now we can query the database by using our model container called user login model container. And just uh, find the user by the context I've created. Users find first or default 
user dot username equals the written down username and if the user is not null we can check if the password is correct password then then the login is successfully if not we have a wrong password and if the user is null no user found or called username found okay let us run the code let's um Input my username, Hans, and the password test, and we have a successfully login. If I try it again with the wrong password, we have the wrong password. And if, if I use a wrong username, We have no user called admin found. 